uh, Martin Rattle and Stuart Lee were theoretically my, my well not theoretically, they were my bosses. Um, and then I went on to um, weekend breakfast show, but also did a lot of the standby shows. So whenever uh, a jock was um, unable to get out of bed for whatever reason, and we'll, we'll leave it at that, uh, I, I used to go in and do the show. There was one particular time when I was on air on one day. I think it was, I was about two years. Um, I'd been in Paul St. John's for about two years. And I, one morning, um, we had a chap called Meshach McQuena. Uh, he was on, employed from five until six in the morning. Uh, that was back in the days when Capital used to close at uh, one o'clock and open again at five. And we had this fabulous 1K tone just sitting there from one until five in the morning. And I, I got a phone call at about five to five to say that Meshach hadn't turned up. So would I go and do, and I was doing the breakfast show at that time, so would I go in and just do the one hour before? So I said, yes, that's fabulous, no problem. I got to, got to the station. Phil Wright was my producer and studio engineer at the time. So Phil Wright had got the call to say, uh, play a jingle, put on a seven minute song, which was probably, um, Bridge Over Troubled Water or something like it or Pink, uh, any, anything by Pink Floyd. Um, put on a, a seven minute song and, and I'll be there by the end of it. So I, I did the first hour, then I did the breakfast show. Then I think it was John Burks that then called in six. So I then did nine till 12. Then whoever's doing 12 till three came in. But then I think it was Kevin was doing three till six or three till seven at that time. And he phoned in sick. So I went back and did from three to seven. And then I went back at 10 and did Alan Pierce's show from 10 till one. So that's probably the longest time that I, I'd ever, or the longest that anybody has ever spent on air in one, in one working day. Steve Smith Music Hour.